Hi, greetings from Brian and Jackie Childers. Uh, we're in the Cedre, uh, which is a language school in France. Uh, we're here preparing for language uh, before we go out to Chad to work in, as uh, nurses in Guinea Board 2 Hospital. And we just wanted to give you some information about our current situation and situation in France and also about where we are uh, in our life before we go ahead and move out in these difficult times. Uh, this is a picture of Les uh, It's the entrance where we walk up every day when we've been out. Um, we're not going out so much now due to the lockdown. School's actually been closed for about four weeks. Um, school is working really, really hard and we're so grateful to the tutors and the administration at the school to provide us with some online teaching, to provide us with individual tutorials, um, to also for keeping our environment clean and safe and a nicer place to be during the lockdown. These are a picture of some of the students at the Cedra and also some of the residents. Um, as you can see, we're spending some time in the garden here and this is a great opportunity for us to, uh, even though we're social distancing, to be able to actually have some space and talk together in an environment that's slightly different from, uh, from other people. Uh, we're blessed to have the garden here really and um, uh, yeah it's just great to spend some time with these guys but Jackie's going to tell you a little bit more about the other international students and other people that live here and what's going on with them. So the language students here have come from America, from the Netherlands and us from the UK. Um, it's challenging for all of us, we're all far away from home, um, we all have the same worries about our families um, for many students, they've spent a long time support raising and that some of that support is now at risk because their supporters have lost their jobs. Um, they don't know if they can afford to continue their studies or go ahead with their mission. Um, for the people who are working here or studying at universities in France, they're also away from their family. They're not sure about the security of their jobs or the future of their course, so they also have similar worries and concerns and we do ask that you could take some time to pray for them we'd be really grateful um, they're so encouraging and it's wonderful to be able to encourage each other at this time at this time we're just thinking about uh, bms's uh, vision of our, the highest goal which is to bring people to faith in the lord uh, jesus, and save jesus christ and to bring abundant life uh, that he can provide and for us at uh, this time it's quite difficult uh, because we're in confinement, uh, we're at language school, we have some French but very limited and uh, we it means we can't really do as nurses what we would normally be doing in a situation like this and uh, for us this can be a, quite a struggle. But we thank you for those that continue to support us at this time and we thank you that uh, we have an aim and a goal that we know that eventually that um, hopefully we will be going to Chad and that we will be using the skills, uh, the language that we have learned here and using the skills that we have in our nursing um, lives to be able to use them to bring more abundant life to those we come in contact with and also to share the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ with those that we meet. But we know that as Christians what we can do is pray. I've been reminded this week um, in Hezekiah that although Isaiah had prophesied that he would die um, the answer to his prayer and the direct result of Hezekiah's prayer was another 15 years to his life. So we absolutely know that prayer works. Um, I've also been reminded of something I came across many years ago, that it was John Scott, I think, and he said that prayer is the only power which the powerless possess. So even when we're feeling hopeless and we don't really know what the future looks like at the moment, we can pray. And we hope that you will pray with, with BMS world mission for the global response we know that you'll also be praying with your churches for your community and your family so we'd just like to pray for the bms workers that are around the world at the moment and we pray that that these people that are doing the work that are able to do that will be able to continue with the projects that they're doing but we know that some people that mean that they can't do the work they were doing in the way they were doing it and there may be that they're are other ways they can continue with the work, but some it may mean that their work may need to stop at the moment. And we just pray that those that are in contact with people that have 
uh, illnesses and viruses and uh, particularly the coronavirus at this time that you keep people that are working in these regions safe and you protect them and uh, we just pray and thank you for those that are willing to uh, put their lives on the line at this time. We know that everyone watching this video right now will be worried, we know that they'll be anxious, we know that we might be thinking about our health, our friends' health, our relatives' health, we might be worried about our children's education, we might be worried about our income, so many things. And yet for some people in the world, the poorest, the most vulnerable, they were already worried about these things. Um, adding coronavirus to that will be just totally devastating and destructive. So we would ask that you um, take a look at the BMS coronavirus appeal, see all the great things that are happening um, and respond as you feel led and able. We thank you so much for your support to BMS. We really do hope and pray that you're all keeping safe and well and that like us you're getting used to what is the new normal um, just as we're trying to do. Um, once again we just want to thank you so much for your support. We're always truly humbled that churches choose to partner with us in the work that we're doing with BMS. We're, we're humbled by every 24-7 supporter that we have um, and we're just so thankful. Thank you for all the messages and emails that we've received. We're really happy to receive them. It's so encouraging again. And um, yeah, we just pray and hope that you'll all keep safe. Thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah, and also you might have noticed that there's a few uh, different changes to the uh, location on our video. Um, had a bit of a problem with the weather, very windy at one point, so we've had to change. But uh, yes, we would just like to, uh, to uh, just really say thank you for all the support that you give us and for all the prayers that we've received. And we just pray that you will keep safe and the God will bless you during this time.